Bonjour, bonsoir, vous qui nous suivez dans le monde. Encore une fois de plus, merci d'être branché sur Osana Magazine. Dans cette nouvelle rubrique, euh, Profil, l'émission Profil de ce soir. Nous sommes à, au centre, au Calvary Christian Center. Nous sommes en train de surprendre le pasteur titulaire de l'église Calvary Christian Center. Nous allons passer directement dans son bureau, nous allons lui surprendre, nous allons un peu recevoir quelques informations, nous allons lui poser un peu quelques informations par rapport à sa vision de l'église, comment il a commencé tout ça et vous allez apprendre beaucoup de choses. Merci beaucoup pour vos feedbacks, vos feeds d'idées. Alors, euh, nous allons partir sans plus tarder, entrer dans son bureau. Euh, je crois que c'est une surprise, comme vous êtes en train de voir là. Donc, c'est le révérend Doran Lewis. Mais je tiens aussi à vous informer que l'émission va se passer en anglais, en fait. L'émission va se passer en anglais. Et donc, euh, essayez un peu de comprendre, parce que je vous avais dit que non, aux la Magazine, ce n'est pas simplement le français, mais c'est quelque chose pour l'évangélisation. Donc, toutes les langues, toutes les nations appartiennent à l'éternel. Alors, sans plus tarder, nous allons entrer et nous allons accueillir les informations. Merci. Hi, Pastor Darren. <laughs> good to see you, good to see you. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Uh, again, thank you so much for receiving us today. You're welcome. This is the team of Ozana Magazine. Ozana Magazine, um, I think it's just a tool that we are using to evangelize, and it's more talking about the gospel, the way we can share the gospel so the people can uh, um, learn about Christ and... Uh, Uh, anything that we can talk about, empowering people, um, the men of God, equip them, and then to go over. So today we have uh, really honored to be received by you. And so if you can introduce yourself to the people that they don't know you. Um, so let's start by there. What's your name, your title, okay. please? All right. Well, my name is Darren Lewis, and I am the lead pastor of Calvary Christian Center here in Louisville and have been for almost five years. Um, and this is my home church. I grew up in this church, and my father pastored it for 25 years before me. And I served as the youth and worship pastor for 13 years before filling the role as lead pastor. So reaching the city of Louisville is my passion and why I believe that God has called us back to pastor this church. Ah, wow, wow. So how long have you been as a lead pastor to Calvary Christian Center? Almost five years. It'll be five years in June. Wow. Wow, wow, that's that's really wonderful, wonderful. So um, today, one of the, the things I wanted to talk about also is about, um, because we've been having this conversation um, between us, and I wanted the people to know um, your vision when you took the, the the lead pastor for this church. What What is your main goal? Well, I have two main goals. Um, first, we want to be a spirit-filled church, which means uh, by definition that we allow the spirit to move in our services um, in, in whatever way he chooses to do so. Second, we want to be a multicultural church. So God began to speak to me from the very beginning that he wanted us to be uh, a picture of what heaven will be like, where it talks about that in Revelation Uh, that around the throne of God, every tribe, tongue, nation, and language will be represented. So my question is, is if in heaven, why not here? Um, and so we believe that God wanted us to begin by uh, making that an emphasis, by praying for the nations and by welcoming the nations and their cultures in. Um, so at this time, we now can say that we have 25 nations as a part of our church and are getting very close to 50% immigrant. Um, we're very, very close to that. So, wow. So you say 50%. Yes. We're getting very close. Just a little under. Wow. 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 That's, that's yeah. really wonderful. That's really wonderful. So you're trying to represent the heaven. Yes. As the heaven in the mm -hmm. earth. So how many nations you have in the church? We have, currently? 20, we have 25 right now. 25 nations. 25. Mm -hmm. um, I think for people around that are following us on Facebook right now, you two. All of you are following us on Facebook. I uh, think you can see, I'm going to balance the image right now. Uh, you can see the flag that you are seeing currently on Facebook. 
those flags represent all the nations yes that are, that are a part church. of our church right so anytime a nation comes a uh, new culture new nation they say this is our church we want to belong here then we put up their flag in the sanctuary wow wow and i think that's the view that the camera are showing not even the whole full pictures we just was able to take a sh just shoot of uh, those nations um and thank you thank you for that um so in those uh, nations that are reaching you trying to reach what is the are they have like a services they meet also or how that that works well we we want to do that in two ways again first and foremost we want to be one church um it's not multiple different churches that do different things we are one church with one vision moving forward as god wants us to do so that looks like on a sunday morning people worshiping god in their native language you may have portuguese and tagalog and french and lingala uh and and many other spanish and many other languages that are all worshiping god together in one one room but then we also give opportunity for those groups that have a large number here to worship together in their own way and in their own style from uh, for instance our our uh, French African service that meets on Saturday nights and then sometime within the next few weeks we will be launching a Spanish speaking service on Sunday afternoons wow wow that's that's wonderful God is amazing so you said that there is a, a French that meets every Saturday Saturday, Saturday, Saturday night, night at 5 30 yes and I think uh, Hosanna magazine was there last time also that you baptize uh, some of those uh, yes, French-speaking people. Do you want to uh, talk a little bit about that so we can yeah, know so I we, mean, we, what you feel and what was, uh, you know? <laughs> yeah, so we, we baptized eight individuals last Sunday, um, and that is just a representation of our multi-ethnicity or multiculturalism. Of those eight, six were Congolese, uh, one was from China and one was from the Philippines. Wow. So wow. even within our baptismal service last week, it was very multicultural. Exactly. Um, so <laughs> for us, baptism is representative of three different things. It is representative of the water being uh, the act of washing us. And so it represents being washed by uh, the, our sins being washed away. The second thing is, is when we go under the water and then come back up, it's representative of us being dead to our sin and alive in Christ. And then the third reason we're baptized is simply because Jesus was baptized and we should follow him in his footsteps. Um, so it was a great honor for um, myself to be able to baptize eight last week. Wow, wow. So we baptized eight and almost five coming from the French speaking. Six. Six coming from the yeah. French speaking. I think wow, wow, yeah. wow, wow. Alors, vous qui êtes en train de nous suivre de par le monde, Uh, vous qui êtes en train de nous suivre de par le monde, encore une fois de plus, vous êtes en train de suivre le mission Osana Magazine. Osana Magazine, comme on vous a toujours dit, ce n'est pas simplement le français, ce n'est pas simplement l'anglais, ce n'est pas simplement le swahili. C'est l'outil d'évangélisation. Aujourd'hui, encore une fois de plus, je tiens simplement à vous rappeler que nous sommes en train de recevoir et parler de l'homme de Dieu, le pasteur Doran Lewis, qui est le pasteur titulaire de l'église Calvary Christian Center. Alors, restez toujours branché, partagez le mission et nous sommes là ensemble en train de continuer notre chemin. Merci encore une fois de plus pour vous qui êtes en train de nous suivre. Euh, Maman Anto, Maman Anto, la femme de Pasteur Nico, à partir de Cincinnati qui est en train de nous suivre, que Dieu vous bénisse, que Dieu vous bénisse. Je vois ma fille euh, qui est en train de nous suivre. Euh, la maman de Kendra, que Dieu te bénisse, que Dieu te bénisse. Euh, Papa Carlos, à partir de France, par rapport à vos commentaires, vos suggestions, merci beaucoup. Écrivez-nous, faites des suggestions, partagez. Nous sommes là en train de vous écouter. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Darren. Um, one more time. So, but I know um, as a receipt, uh, let's say, put this way having all those culture and then you pastoring the church with all over 25 nations it's a, it's a challenging also is there any challenge and what's your strategy i mean how do you make these ha things happen well it, it is definitely a challenge because every culture looks at everything differently but 
the things that are the same or the Spirit of God is the same, Jesus Christ is the same, and the Word of God is the same. And Man. so we use those three things uh, as our anchor, yes. uh, that Christ is still our salvation, the Holy Spirit is the one that moves us and empowers us, and the Word is our foundation. Mm -hmm. And so that transcends culture. And so, yes, it is difficult. It can be difficult because uh, there are so many different opinions of different things. Um, but I, we jokingly say that we guarantee that you will be offended. Uh -huh. uh, and that is not because we don't love you. It is because that we are learning 25 cultures or more as God brings them at any given time. And yep. so where somebody is going to say something that is offensive in somebody's culture, and that's okay. Uh, because in Jesus, we love each other and we forgive each other. Exactly. And somebody says, okay, this is how I would say that in my culture. Yes. Uh, and so it's, it is challenging, but it's also one of the greatest rewards that I've ever had is in ministry uh, because I get to go to weddings of every culture and baby dedications yes. of every culture yes. and, and uh you know and, and celebrations like uh watch night with the congolese community and the yes community <laughs> <laughs> that stay up much later than i do <laughs> wow 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 really um i like when, when you say the speech of the lord the help and drive that and as a christian as a believer we just kind of trying to I mean, we love each other, and that's yes. one of the, the main reasons. So what about on Sundays morning and how that works? Because you, you, have, you have also combined service uh, sometime that you, you offer, if I actually use the, the, the term offer, offer or uh, organize. And so how, how that works for people that don't know or does not speak English? Well, each Sunday morning, our service is done in English, and our worship is primarily in English. Um, but because we have a large number of French speakers in the church, um, my sermon slides will be in English and French. Okay. Uh, the uh, scriptures will be put up in English and in French. Wow. Uh, and then on other occasions, such as last Sunday, we had our Family and Friends Day, which is where all of our cultures come together. Then we try to integrate more of those into it, so our... our um, a worship team from from uh, our Saturday night service came in and did some of the music with us. We integrated our, our our worship team so that they had representations of multiple cultures within the church, um, including singing some songs in French and some songs in English. And uh, as we continue to grow, we'll have more nations represented in that, and we'll do more languages as we learn them, uh, which is which is a challenge. But God will bring us those people who can help us with that. Wow, wow. That's impressive. Pour ceux qui nous sont, qui ceux qui sont en train de nous suivre, encore une fois de plus, vous êtes en train de suivre le mission Osana Magazine. Osana Magazine, c'est une mission, euh, I mean, une chaîne chrétienne qui a plusieurs branches et missions à l'intérieur, juste pour l'évangélisation. Alors, comme je suis en train de dire que aujourd'hui nous sommes à Calvaire Centre Chrétien. Nous avons été reçus par l'homme de Dieu, le pasteur Darren Lewis. Nous sommes basés à Louisville, Kentucky. Et abonnez-vous sur notre chaîne YouTube, C3FR Espace TV. Et aimez ou like, dépendant de votre langue, notre page Facebook, Osana Magazine. Merci encore une fois de plus pour tous qui sont en train de passer leur temps pour nous suivre. Et je tiens à informer, pendant que les gens sont en train de nous suivre, et à, euh, je tiens à rappeler l'information qui nous avait été donnée. Euh, C'est l'événement qui est en train de se passer le 13 mai euh, du frère Blaise, Blaise Itoko, qui a un concert qui va produire le 13 mai à Evangio, ici à Louisville, Kentucky, la prière pour le Congo. Ça va commencer à partir de 16h. Prochainement, je crois que nous allons l'inviter pour arriver à être là. Et euh, le frère, le pasteur aussi, Jean Didi, a un événement qui est en train de se passer ici localement à Louisville, Kentucky. Ça sera le dimanche de 27 Pentecôte. Et puis, nous avons ici euh, le Calvaire Centre Chrétien qui est en train d'organiser euh, le samedi 26 mai, euh, qui est aussi euh, le samedi avant Pentecôte, euh, une soirée spéciale d'adoration et de louange, de prière forte, de délivrance, qui se tiendra à 10, à 10 7, 10 Tellersville Road, euh, Louisville, Kentucky. Euh, on va poster euh, 
l'adresse sur le commentaire pour ceux qui sont en train de nous suivre sur Facebook. Et puis, pour ceux qui sont en train de nous suivre sur YouTube, l'adresse est affichée sur vos écrans. Alors, venez arriver à adorer Dieu. Le thème, c'est la puissance du Saint-Esprit. Merci encore une fois de plus, vous qui êtes en train de nous suivre sur Osa la Magazine. Restez branchés et nous continuons. So, thank you so much, Pastor. I know that this was a kind of surprise and uh, we just took you by surprise. But um, one more time, what if you can send a message to people that are following us? Because these people are following us not only in French, I mean in English, but in French. And this uh, uh, TV show, they watch that uh, all over the country, all over the world, the people from Kinshasa, they watching us, that Daddy Masamba. We have people from France that are watching us. So uh, what the message you can send to them right now, and particularly to people in Louvo? Well, around the world, we believe that this is one way that God is helping us reach the nations, but we also are a missions-minded church, and so we support missionaries that are all over the world, including in Kinshasa. Uh, we support missionaries that work with Laborn uh, Church in Kinshasa, and a friend of mine, uh, I'm a, I was a friend of Pastor Verneau before he passed away, uh, and Sister Verneau and I still keep in contact. Um, and so we're praying for you, and we're praying for your churches and for your pastors. Uh, if you are local and you're in the city of Louisville, we just want to invite you because uh, no matter what culture you are from, no matter what language you speak, no matter how you worship God in your culture, you are welcome to come and to join us as it would be around the throne of God that we worship God together um, in our native way and in our native language. It's a wonderful thing to hear uh, people worshiping God in multiple languages in one service and in different expressions of how they worship. Uh, and so if you're in Louisville, then we would invite you, if you speak French, uh, to come to our French-speaking service on Saturday night at 5.30. If you want to experience English with French or an English service, maybe you're learning English, and this would be a good way for you to help learn your English, is to come at 10.30 on Sunday morning. Uh, and that's for anyone. doesn't matter what language they speak. We just welcome everyone from every language because the Spirit of God is the same in every language. Wow, wow. That was a really, really powerful. And then what the address, if you can remind the people that are sure, following in, us? Uh, in English, the address is 10710 Taylorsville Road, um, Louisville, Kentucky, 40299. So we are just outside of the Jefferson Town area of Louisville, um, just a few blocks outside of Jefferson Town. So it's very easy to get to. We're right off the interstate, about two miles inside of the interstate. So it's very, very easy to get to. So again, one more time, thank you so much, Pastor, for your time. You are very welcome. Uh, I know you're kind of busy. <laughs> voila, voila. So <laughs> that, was a, that was a really surprising. That was really surprising. That was good. That was good. And what other what language you can speak to? Uh, or just a little? I can speak a little Spanish. Okay. Yeah. So any message for, <laughs> for our follower? And then for the French speaking? Yeah, I see. Merci beaucoup. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so thank you so much again for your time. You, we know that uh, uh, it's an honor for us to, uh, to be received by you um, because I know you're busy with your busy schedule, but you dedicate your time just so you can uh, uh, talk to us and you can send a message to people that are following us. So encore une fois de plus, merci à vous tous qui nous avez suivis uh, aujourd'hui dans Osana Magazine, dans cette nouvelle rubrique avec le pasteur de Rennes que nous avons réussi à partir de Louisville, Kentucky, là où nous sommes branchés. Il est le pasteur titulaire de l'église Calvary Christian Center, une église multiculturelle, plus de 25 nations représentées, là où ils sont en train d'arriver à avoir des services le dimanche combinés en français et en anglais. Et puis le samedi, chaque 17h30, il se retrouve en cet endroit pour le service en français. Encore une fois de plus, merci de nous avoir suivis. Merci pour vos conseils. Et nous vous souhaitons bon week-end et à la prochaine. Merci.